Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This uh, this shirt is huge on me. A massive shirt. It's probably covered with dog hair, too, because she was laying on me earlier. But anyways, I have a uh, new build I want to start here. This is um, this is something that I got free when my wife bought me the uh, Roker pinball game. Uh, everybody seemed to love that video. I'll leave a link to it right up here if you want to check that one out. Very cool build. Absolutely loved it. But they sent a free gift for purchasing that, and I'm going to build that on the channel today. Uh, this is called Animal Store Series Aroma Toast Lab by Rolla. Here it is right here. It looks kind of like, um, if you're into like book nooks, stuff like that, it's got like a little uh, light up business here with like an apartment on the top and uh, business on the bottom. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get up top and let's get a better look at it. All right, here it is, guys. So here's the front, as you can see. Treasure store. Stable to assemble easily. Both stand and hang touch light. So as you can see here, it's got like a little apartment at the top here. It's got a red roof and a chimney. And then on the bottom, there's like a little bakery. Uh, cute little thing here. This is very Japanese-like with the cute little animals and things. Take a rest with bread aroma and homey time. Whatever the hell that means, I, I have no idea. And then on the back here, I think it shows uh, kind of how to mount it. There's different ways to mount it. I think there's a hole you can put a screw through or you can hang it from the string. Got a push button on the back to turn the lights on. Takes two AAA batteries, which I'm sure I have around here somewhere. Uh, this little board looks like it slides out if you want to stand it on a shelf or something and then it slides in and you can hang keys and stuff like that on it if you want it by the front door. It says to keep away from flames and humid environments. I live in Florida, people. Humidity doesn't exist here, so we should be good on that. All right, let's open it up. What do we got inside here? This seems like a pretty small little build. Uh, a, little, a lot of stuff, though, it looks like. And this looks like the build instructions. Put that to the side here. Looks like it comes with some uh, little plastic tweezers, a paintbrush, different kind of wires and strings. There's a screwdriver, some screws and stuff like that in here. That's cool. Uh, looks like I got little characters and signs and roof parts and things. Uh, parts of the house here. I don't see like glue in here. I don't know if you're going to need glue and glue this together. I would assume you do. I don't see any glue in here. I mean, I do have glue. Uh, more parts. This looks like the little panel thing. It's not real big. It looks like it's probably less than a foot tall. Maybe uh, uh, five inches wide. It's not a huge thing, so it's not uh, going to be gigantic. Looks like some uh, maybe window parts here. And just more instructions. There's a parts list, I think. Or these might be parts. These might be things you cut out to glue on. I don't know. Maybe it's like wallpaper kind of stuff. I have no idea. We will find out. And there's uh, what's something in this box here. What is this? Uh, okay, this is the uh, the battery pack here. This is where you put the batteries. All right. Get all this out. A piece of cardboard in the bottom. Anything else in here? Eh, maybe not. All right. Let's get rid of this box and let's get started. All right. Brief introduction here. How to open a liquid glue. I don't see any glue in here. Let me look through a little better. I'm looking through the pack here and I don't see any glue. It says it comes with liquid glue. All right. There's no glue in this. I'll be right back. All right. I got these little bottles of glue here that came with uh, some furniture, a desk or something that I bought. That's uh, it's basically wood glue, which is the same thing as like Elmer's glue. So we'll use that.
over Through the crowd as I move for the corner On my phone, fingers scroll through the faces 25, why can't I hold a conversation? This is my party and I'm stressed out Turn the music down I'll try to forget about the things I wish I never said Yeah, it's hard to live here in my head Lights are way too bright For me to talk to anybody I'm trying to fight the feeling that I'd rather be dead Yeah, it's hard to live here in my head But it's better if I just walk Pretty far, but it's better if I don't talk Agoraphobia is real to me I know you think I'm crazy, probably No, there's no doubt This is my party and I'm stressed out uh -oh, uh -oh. Turn the music down uh -oh. I'll try to forget about the things I wish I never said Yeah, it's hard to let fear in my head Lights are way too bright For me to talk to anybody I'm trying to fight the feeling that I'd rather be dead Yeah, it's hard to let fear in my head Over. Maybe I'll feel better when I'm older Uh-oh, uh-oh, turn the music down Uh-oh, I'll try To forget about the things I wish I never said Yeah, it's hard to live here in my head Uh-oh, uh-oh, turn the music down uh -oh. I'll try to forget about the things I wish I never said Yeah, it's hard to live here in my head Lights are way too bright For me to talk to anybody I'm trying to fight the feeling that I'd rather be dead Yeah, it's hard to live here in my head Taking a rest with bread aroma and homie time. 
whatever that means but anyways we're all done with the build here yeah look at it there around the side of the lamp you're supposed to glue this i just just let it dangle i'm just letting it dangle like that and let it dangle the light on the outside uh i gotta tell you this was a challenging build this was quite a challenging little build here i, I thought it was going to go much quicker i just figured everything was just going to be uh you just take it out of the pack and you glue it on but uh no that's not the case let me turn the light we've got little switches under the uh canopy here turn the lights on you can see inside there a little shelf in there plant and this little critter here is watering her flowers so you have to completely build that flower box you got to cut the little wood pieces to fit that uh the lamp here on the side that's all just straight wire and you have to bend it to make it into that design the little uh light that hangs from it it's like a little plastic tube you got to cut it and then you got to put a little wiring through it and glue it all together it's nothing is i mean well some stuff is pre-made you gotta like cut the little planter there you gotta fix the plants in you gotta build everything the sign the door everything has to be built if you look in there you can see the little baked goods on the shelf in the back behind the counter but um yeah a neat little build it's a uh, really cute probably gonna give this to my daughter she's into these kind of like little animal cutesy things she likes animal crossing and stuff like that if you're into things like animal crossing you'd probably love something like this right very cool uh if you're into book nooks and things like that yeah uh, this is not my normal what i would build it's not my interest but uh still fun little build uh quite challenging i wouldn't uh let a child do this on their own especially since there's wiring you got to do um, heat shrinking you know use a little lighter on the heat uh, shrink tube to to uh, fix the wiring in and things like that so uh, definitely not for a young child to do on their own but uh, with the help of a parent would be a neat project for a kid and uh, a cool little thing to have hanging on your wall when it's done now this piece here is supposed to slide out on the bottom so that it can stand but I glued these in a little crooked and it won't it won't slide out. So uh, it's I think it'd be neater to hang on the wall as just a, like a keychain holder anyways, you know, make it functional as well as uh, something neat to look at. Tons of detail in it. I mean, you can just kind of look at this for a while. The um, the spout downspout here for the rainwater. I just coated it with permanent marker to make it black. And as you can see, I got some on the side here, but that's okay. It adds to the worn look of the building. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in uh, things like this, I'll leave a link down in the uh, description down below. Uh, if you want to go find something like this to build. Um, again, uh, I got this free for buying the pinball. Uh, machine from Roker uh, for the the uh, pinball model uh, and I'll leave a link to that down below as well and a link to my video so if you're interested go check that out and uh, yeah fun build as always guys thanks for stopping by I really appreciate it make sure you give this video a big thumbs up smash that subscribe button and I'll see you next time I'm Tree Solo and this is Black and Red See. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.